All right, the next thing that I'd like to cover today is our TDPI deck plates. These are the serial deck plates. They're all intelligent. No different than our regular uh, TDP deck plates uh, from the top, so you, you wouldn't know any difference. On the top of the deck plate, we have uh, inlaid in the plastic what each function is. We have touchpad, start, speaker, RJP for relay judging platform, button C, button B, and button A. As you can see with our new deck plates, they're not just flat, they're raised up where the banana plugs uh, actually insert to keep water out of that connection, keep it running down. Uh, as I said, with the touchpad, the banana plugs are not polarized, they're all just uh, switch closures. So uh, all you need to do is make sure that these titanium inserts are just free of debris. Uh, make sure that you do have your dielectric coating on of some kind and then simply plug it in. It can be plugged in this way. It can be plugged in this way, does not matter. So we have a touch pad and up to three buttons. Buttons are plugged in the exact same way. Uh, then we have the speaker. That can be plugged in this way. That can be plugged in this way. Really doesn't matter and you're ready for your swim meet. Uh, let's say during the course of a meet, as the finishes are coming in, consistently in one lane, we're missing a button or we're missing a touch pad. That's where your touch pad meter comes in really handy because it's, it's a device that we can use with at the touch of a button, I can unplug the touch pad from the timing system, plug it in, and then hit the front of the touch pad and make sure it's working. So if the touchpad's working, it's gotta be something else. If the touchpad's shorted and we see all the lines come across, uh, that's where you would replace your touchpad and rehab the other one. Same thing with the buttons. If I have a button in question, I can take and plug that button into my touchpad meter and just click the button and see if it's working properly. If we have nothing that happens when we push the button, it, the button is bad. Or if it looks like that without touching the button, the button is bad. So swap out your button and uh, we'd have to investigate that uh, a little later. Most likely uh, it's gonna be a new button because they're so inexpensive. And those are the basic features of your deck plate.